Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to create our Android project. So let's switch the view to Android and let's go back to our main directory and create our utils package. I'm gonna create my application module for Android Heels, my application and it's going to be annotated by Heels Android app and it's also going to extend application class and don't forget to add it inside your manifest by calling the name of Android so let's go back to our main route again and create another package called UI and let's refactor our main activity to login activity and move it to the UI package so let's refactor it we are good to go let me remove this line and go to my UI and layouts and copy and paste all the activities inside here since it's not a course about uh, designing XMLs I'll explain you everything and also the drawables that I'm going to use inside this uh, project okay so we do have a login activity which will be like this uh, it's going to have two edit texts a username and password and a sign in button to sign in inside our main activity as you can see here uh, there's a list of users here uh, looks like I do miss some colors value and I'm going to copy and paste the colors again just like that okay so I do have a list of users online or offline here and if I click on any of these buttons like video call or audio call I'll assert connection to the other peer so and the other peer that is receiving a notification will accept or decline it using this layout so after that we will move to the call activity like this and we have some features available like end call, disable mic or uh, camera or switch camera or start screen share so let's go to our activities login activity and start with our login activity I'm gonna annotate it as Android entry point and then switch this with login activity correct so it's time to start our view binding looks like I forgot to add it so go to your build.gradle on your app module and write view binding and set enabled to true sync it and go back to your activity and create your so I'll create a function called init private fun in it and inside this function I'll just use my views and put an apply block to it uh, using sign in button or login button I don't remember that let's move back this option it's called btn stupid me set on click listener and using this button we are trying to log in uh, through our main repository that holds a reference of our Firebase client so let's move to our main route and create a new package called repository and another one called Firebase clients so I'm going to create my repository class and call it main repository it's going to be injectable and it will have a constructor and also I'll create my firebase client it also will be injectable and it will have a constructor so I'll have a reference of my firebase client like this and I'll create a function called uh, login it will get a username of type string a 
password of type string and a callback call is done with boolean uh, and string for the response error and it's going to return a unit and this function is going to call a function from firebase client called login with the same variables password is done and that's it so let's create this function inside my firebase client just like that and then inside here we are going to need a reference to our firebase database to sign in so to do that i'm going to use my uh, hilt dependency injection and create a module for it and call it app module i'm going to mark it as module and install it inside my singleton components class i'm going to write some functions to provide some variables first of them is provide context is going to have the application context and get the context as the input and it's going to return the context itself and the value is going to be context that's application context the other one is provide fun provide json it's going to return the json object and the value is going to be new instance of json and the other one is going to be fun uh, provide database instance and it's going to return a firebase database and the value is going to be firebase database that get instance and the last one is going to be fun provide database reference we actually are working with this reference it's going to get this firebase database object and it will return a database reference the value is going to be db dot reference reference just like that so let's go back to our firebase client and inject our models that we provided to our application the first one is uh, db ref of type database reference the other one is json from json library you can see it's linked to this uh, module so let's go to our function and using our db ref and we're going to add a listener for single value events it means every time we are going to sign in first we want to check if there's a username like this for example Masood and if there's a username like this here uh, we want to check if the previous password matches so let the user like let the user sign in if it doesn't notify the user that hey uh, your password is wrong but if it doesn't exist so re handle the registration like that so let's go back we're using the main reference the main root and put a listener on it and for the listener i'll just put a value event listener just like that and implement the members just like this so right here we want to check if the current user exists to do that using this snapshot object i'll check has child and pass our username to it using this if condition i'll check that if the user exists user exists it's time to check the password and user doesn't exist register the user so we'll fetch our password db password 
is equal to snapshot dot child dot username and get the child are not children dot child and gets the next child called a password dot value but I'm not going to boilerplate my codes and write it over and over again so I'll create a companion object to hold all the field names so let's go to util package and create an object called firebase field names and inside it I'll have three variables first one is status is equal to status the next one is password it's equal to password and the last one is latest event it's equal to latest event la latest event so let's go back to our firebase client and write it a uh, password and import it from my firebase field names so my password from database is here it's time to check if password that user is providing is equal to db password it means password is correct and sign in if it's not password password is wrong notify user just like that so if password is correct you want to change the status of the user from offline to online to do that so I'll write dbref uh, child username and child status as you can see from firebase status fields and set the value to let's say online but I'm going to create an enum class called user status it's an enum class and it will hold online objects offline and in call so I'll use user status dot online and add on complete listener if it's done do this and add on failure listener if it's not done then do this so if it's complete I'm going to uh, first store the signed in username like this private var current username type string it's nullable initially it's going to be null and I'll create a function a setter function for it set username it will receive a username from string of type string and set the current username to this username first I'm going to store this username and then fire the callback like this done and set it to true and the error is going to be null and if it gives me an error I'm going to set it false and just pass it dot message as the message to it and if its password is wrong I'm going to notify the user that hey password is wrong and if the user doesn't exist I'm going to register the user to that I use dbref and child username and child password set value to password sorry the child password with upper cases since it's a firebase field and set password to it it means it's going to create a user for example called Masut and then inside it it will have a password variable and it will hold the password like one two three four something like this 
you will see later that hey there is a user called Masood and the password is going to be 1234 so if we set the password that thing will happen and I'm going to add a complete listener to it and also add failure listener so if it happens successfully I'm going to update the user uh, status as well child status and set the value to user status dot online and also add on complete listener to it and add on failure listener to it so in this case we successfully sign it in we wanna set the username to our current username and then use don callback pass true and null as the error and also here if didn't change our status to online I'm going to send back this error and also here same thing like this so let's go back to our login activity and inject our main repository like this and using main repository dot login and the username is going to be uh, username edit text to string and for the password is going to be password edit text dot text to string and we will implement the callback like this and the reason is going to be this then we will check if is done is false then we want to create a toast with the reason message if it's not it means the sign-in was successful so we want to start moving to our main activity we can launch our application right now and at the same time I'll open my real-time database like this if I write my username and password here you'll see there's a new user with the password of 1234 and status of online if I write the wrong password it says it's, the password is wrong till I remove this again and enter with the new password you can see the password is changed to 12345 and if I write it back to 1234 again it says that our password is wrong so that's it for this video in the next video we will start to see the other logged in users and try to interact with them till the next video see you everyone